and hello, welcome back to Rock of Care Brin. We're back and ready to go with another session. And today, I we start with the group having exited the Fey Forest. And now you have a choice. The only thing you know is that there... Well, what do you guys remember from last time? That's a question I should probably ask. I thought we were at a city. No, we we didn't leave yet because they wanted to go shopping, and then I went. They to did. The they did. Yeah. They went shopping. We shopped. You we slept. slept. You went through the portal. We did. Mm -hmm. I think so. I yeah, don't remember going through the portal. The witch lady that you wouldn't didn't trust sent us through the portal at the very end, back to the. Oh, okay. I, mean, I don't remember that at all. Other than that, we were in a city that looked beautiful, but it was actually an illusion. And everything was all messed up. And it was because, you know what, it was because of those orcs. <laughs> no. Because stabby, stabby, slashy, slashy, smashy, smashy. Because yes. there was an army of the unwanted that broke through trying to get into the mortal realm for some reason. And when they broke through the, or mortal plane, if you want to call it that, uh, when they broke through, they fought the um, Prashina on this side and ended up moving off into the forest and escaping. Hey, what the? We... Why? Why? Um. You break anything up there, I'm murdering you. <laughs> She's talking to God. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Magira decided to launch herself to the top of my liquor cabinet and shook the entire thing. Mm hmm. Okay. So high. Wow. We also learned the even though they're both elves, they're very prejudiced against elves. Well, they're very prejudiced against a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> well, you also don't know I'm an elf, remember? Well, technically, you kind of do now because she yes. spilled my secrets. But yes. Yep. Yes. I mean, well, you, you kinda... sort of know, but it's not confirmed. But yes, <laughs> we have a, we have we have an inkling hunch. We have a something. You have a something. Okay, so what you guys know is they sent you off to look for uh, someone who is related to the king of Veilguard, who was captured by some of the army, and they are moving north. You have exited the forest. You are basically looking out there's like a river that you can see not far away and then across effectively uh there's a, a fork in the river one goes basically straight east the other one kind of goes uh north and west and then there's a massive plain area in front of you both sides uh on the other side of the river, you can actually see a small fort, which looks to be a patrolled area guarding the forest. And uh, on the other side, you can't see much because you just see plain in front of you. What you gonna do? I know one Go of north. you actually knows directions, so. Go oh, north. Dude. Yeah, well, yeah, north. okay. All right. Are you going to stay on this side of the river or go to the other side of the river? I look to my friend. This yeah. I'm going to hop on this plane and fly over. <laughs> on the plane, huh? Sure. No problem. Yep. You, said, you said there was a plane in front of us. Let's get as up. in, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Planes. <laughs> Planes as we all As have. in, like, you know, high grasses. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, no forest, you know, those kind of things. Thing ah! I, I live in, to be exact. The rains in Spain fall mainly on the plain. Okay, so you guys start to head north. Uh, as you... I don't see hmm. any reason to cross the river right now, at least. Unless we need to. Did, did she say something about crossing the river to us, John? No. She said go north. She didn't give you any instructions, basically, other than that they went north, because they don't know where they went outside of that. 
So yeah, I'll go go north and keep my eyes on the lookout. Okay. For any, All right. My, as in, you get to Right. So as I said, as you walk north, the river starts to turn sort of northwest. And so you'll walk for a fair ways before you'll see much of anything. Uh, I'd like you guys to all roll perception for me, please. And Austin, you can do it with advantage. <coughs> Which, 19 is not bad. <coughs> 22, very good, Dimitri. <laughs> okay. Bree's just strolling along, not paying attention to much of anything except <laughs> her knives. So, uh, the, so Dimitri and, um, and, uh, Shin, you guys, as you look and see the gentle turn of this river to the west, and you are starting to notice more seagulls and definitely a bit of a different scent in the air. It kind of, I would say smells like this like the ocean kind of thing as you get closer and you can smell the seawater but uh, you see animals every once in a while but like prairie dogs or gophers or things like that you don't see a lot of a lot of well you don't see any humans at all at this point or any other race but uh, as you continue to make your way north and west, you end up coming to a town on the, which is across the river from you. And it looks like a small, kind of between a small city and a, and a larger town, but it's not like huge by any means. And uh, if you check the map, you can see an image of it. On the old rule 20. So it is across the river from you, and then it leads. You'll see that the river widens out and it becomes a bay which leads out to the main ocean on the west side of the continent. So there are bridges to make your way across to the uh, town if you'd like. Are there any trolls under the bridges? I mean, the bridge crosses water source, so probably not. Just saying. Uh, uh, which town were we supposed to be heading for? Was it Veilgard? Veilgard is on the material plane, but I think we're not heading there. I think we're heading to some town we don't know the name of to find this. I forgot. I have his name wrote down somewhere. I have to find it. Okay. But it's basically the person that can um, close the portal. Is that right? No, you don't know effectively why they want. It's because he's he's basically related to the king. That's what you know. Uh, okay. It's nothing to do with his ability to open or close anything. I'm looking. I had a stuff wrote down on him. Uh -huh. Can't find anything. Oh, dear. I'm going to keep looking. Okay. So for those of you, well, all of you should know this. You are now across from the kingdom of Quinla or Quinlia, I guess. Uh, if you look at the information I sent you earlier this week, you'll know a little bit more about that particular kingdom. Uh, and the um, pre-roll a... Um, uh, hmm, what would be the optional, optimal thing here? Would it be a nature check? Probably not a nature check. Um, let me just double check here what I want you to roll before I say. Roll a... Hmm. If, if it's kind of for finding her way, because I know you said that she kind of knew the way. It yeah, would be, be survival, survival, wouldn't it? Yeah, roll survival check, please. Okay. Uh, you know that you're close to Port Tim. That would be the town you're across from. Which is in the southern part of the kingdom. 
as we get, like, if we're going to make the, our way to the bridge, I am going to put my hood up. Okay. All right. Anybody else want to do anything? <clears throat> um, yeah. And put my hair back in a ponytail. I pet the cat. There's a cat? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Just Where randomly. Cat, <laughs> little, little cat <laughs> runs out of the bush. <laughs> what, meow. You have a cat now? What's meow. His name? Meow. What's that thing's name? Meow. 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 See? It told you. Meow. Hmm. Hello. So you you like, won't have tea with a lady in, or in her own home, but you'll pick up a ring, a strange cat you just found on the side of the road. And edit. Cats yeah. are trustworthy. That strange cat? women handing out tea in the middle of a forest in a cabin or not. That cat could not be a cat. Meow. Yeah, I mean, I put it up. In. <laughs> you can show the animal. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, it's kind of a calico. Okay. I speak to the cat in Druidic and say, "Are you a real cat?" <laughs> it sounds roll, like roll animal crumbling. handling. <laughs> when I talk in Druidic, it sounds like the breeze blowing and um, leaves crumbling. Okay. Know. All right. What am I rolling again? I'm sorry. Animal handling. Animal handling. Yeah. Where's my character sheet? Can you tell me that? I mean, it's in roll 20, last I heard. Yeah. It always exits when I don't want it to. Mm-hmm. All right. Animal handling. I'm not putting it off anymore. Okay. Nice. Okay. So uh, as you ask that question of it, the cat looks at you and goes, Oh crap! And then runs away. That, 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 hey. that, was, that wasn't a real cat. I don't care. It was still fuzzy and cute. Now something knows we're here. You should kill that cat. We came down the middle of the road. Everybody knows we're here. Well, I hope it didn't see me before I put my hood up. <laughs> Why? They don't like my kind here. It did. I thought you still looked human. I, no, he doesn't. I have a, I have a, no, we, we lost that thing. They took mm. that back. Right. Yeah. They look like elves. You guys look like elves, basically, but now you don't. What? Yeah, that's right. He made, they made everybody look like elves because we were in the Fae. Yeah. Except me. I refused. Sure. Um, yeah, I remember you didn't change me because have you given me pointy years that she would have gotten mad? I remember that. I remember that too, but that's fine. Um, it doesn't matter now anyway, regardless. Uh, you are on a bridge or and crossing over or what? I assume. Unless somebody Troll. says no. Yeah, I, I thought we were looking underneath it for trolls first. I, I, as I said, there's a big rushing river underneath it. There are no trolls. That's what they like. Yeah, it could be clinging to the bottom for all we know. I yeah. mean, maybe, like but upside down on the bottom of the bridge. You didn't roll that <laughs> that good. Um, you wouldn't want to run yeah, into I mean, a troll at level two anyway. What are you talking about? If everybody's like hesitant, I, I'll actually I'll look at Bart. Flip your coin to see if we cross this bridge, buddy. I mean, do any of you know where we're supposed to go? Because if you know where we're going to go, we can just go. I flip what? when I don't know. Does anyone? We don't know. Maria's just going to shake her head and cross the dang bridge into town. <laughs> okay, there you go. No need to waste my precious coin flips. <laughs> precious, precious roll. Do you right. have a reserve? I don't like wasting effort. <laughs> okay. Very efficient, Bart. I am. <laughs> I am very Spartan in nature. You, you should have seen my room, man. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'll follow free. Okay. 
Uh, as you guys cross the bridge, you'll see um, there's a, a path that leads into town. Um, leads past some farms. Uh, looks like these particular farms have all had their crops taken and they uh, are replanting or in the Harvested. process of replanting. No, they're in the process of replanting. <laughs> no, but the plants were harvested? It's fine. Not um, Whatever. And Did then boy? as you move to, down the path, you see a the gate that enters the city. And there are guards at the gates. And two up top in uh, on platforms, which are overlooking. And you can see that they have weapons, but none of them are drawn on you. And uh, who's in the lead right now? Is it Pri? Oh, good. I didn't want a tattoo anyways. Yeah, Pri's in the lead. Okay. Um, so the guard looks at Pri and says, Hello, welcome to Port Tim. How may I help you? Meow. Mm hmm. What is your business here today? I have no recollection. Ask these guys. Ah, uh, he looks over. Here? What's that? Is there an inn here? Is there a what here? Sorry, I can't. An couldn't. inn. An oh, an inn. 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 Sorry, I thought you said gin. I was like, what? Uh, yes, there are at least three inns in this town. Which one would Which one would you recommend? Uh, the Creeping Willow would probably be your best bet, I think. Okay, then we're trying to go to the Creeping Willow. Okay. Creepy. Willows don't creep, they weep. So, as you walk into town, you'll see a market to your left and several different little uh, houses, uh, one of which is an inn which says the Weary Traveler, and then there is a larger church building at the center. Interestingly, you don't see a castle, but you do see, or palace structure, you just see a fortification sort of in the center of the town. Um, otherwise, it's very uh, mellow. You do see patrols, but nothing too crazy. The city guard here don't seem to be in any sort of stress. And uh, do you continue wandering, or are you going to stop and ask oh, somebody well, directions, or what are you going to do? Oh, I, I would have asked the guard where it was. Okay. So he basically points towards the market and says it's just past the market over on the other side of the fort of the fort okay thank you so as as mm -hmm. we go in and we we see the weary traveler mm -hmm. i'll say i wonder why they didn't recommend this one it's right here at the front maybe he flipped the coin and then i continue to walk <laughs> i look at dimitri is it do you see him flip a coin no. I mean, it, but it's possible he's getting paid to recommend the other in. Shrug. True. Uh, I'm just walking towards the marketplace, hoping to find something interesting again. Okay. An inn is an inn is an inn. It doesn't matter. If it's so, not a bed, we're good. Well, uh, several it, beds. Not a bed. Anything, several does beds. Anything, did anything catch my interest, John? Uh, you'll. S okay. Uh, how about you flip your coin? Oh, all right, even is a yes, odd is no. There you go. Uh, well, that's a that's uh, a very right. high even. Um, so to catch my, my yeah. Eye. So you'll see there is a number of like blacks. There's a couple of blacksmiths, a uh, general merchant area, and then there's a, a large tent, which has someone who's selling various trinkets, and he's calling so around go, i'm going there that one okay so as you walk over uh he's looks at you and says oh my fine young fellow you look like you're ready Hold to before, before we continue this isn't the same guy right no 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 the other guy had a really thick this, accent this isn't like the this isn't like the onion <laughs> the, the cabbage guy the from cabbage avatar right no, no, no. nothing like that 
All right. Uh, what you got here, buddy? Well, I've got several trinkets and uh, pieces of gold, jewelry, and, of course, a selection of the finest uh, medallions to the gods so that you can be safe on your way. Uh, show me your trinkets. And so he pulls out a little box, and it has, like, rings and earrings and little statuettes to various heroes of times and legends and times past. Do they do anything? Uh, he looks at you and says, N no. You want okay. that? You need to go talk to the wizard. The wizard? Yeah, we have one little shadier one down past in the 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 commons area okay i'm gonna roll to see if something catches my interest out of the trinkets okay oh sorry sorry to bother you and then i'm gonna walk away <laughs> okay uh i'll look at where everyone else went. where they're just standing there looking at me <laughs> probably although he he does yell at you and he says hey hey sir wait a second wait a second can what? i sh sh i i I just have a feeling you might want this. And he pulls out this little medallion. It's got a chain around it, but it looks like it could be a coin, almost. And on it is a picture of a woman. And because it's on a coin, you can't, you don't see a lot of detail, but she has horns and she has some flowing hair and what looks to be slightly different eyes, although you can't really tell very well what is it and why do you think I'm, I'm interested in it well most people who are traveling throughout the world especially someone as well armed as yourself would want something of this nature when he says well armed i'm looking like i have one spear <laughs> i mean to him you got to remember i mean most uh, most right, people right. they got a little short sword maybe a dagger you know, they're not carrying a lot of implements, and pikes are symbols of authority, right? All right, let's see, so, let's see if I want this. Yeah. Nope, sorry, I don't want it. No, oh, that's unfortunate. Yep. I yeah, think... I walk back to the, I walk back to the group. I, I he's already the coin has said no twice to this man. I'm not. I'm, I'm done with the. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's go through the rest of this market, man. All right. Uh, all right. So as you I actually, as, hmm? as we're walking away, I look at Bart and I say, uh, I mean, I'm surprised that someone who relies so heavily on coin flips and luck doesn't already have a medallion for the Lady of the Wild Things. I don't care about luck. I just, it just helps me make a decision. I never said it's like, it's the right decision. It's just a decision. That's disturbing. <laughs> I'm still alive. So, I guess. Maybe so far, it is lucky. So far. <laughs> Dark back alley one day. You find, you find Bart having made I mean, the wrong I mean, coin flip. I uh, mean, the very first game was me walking down an alleyway and, and I survived. Yep, yeah, <laughs> you did. Okay, so you walk through uh, the rest of the market. Anybody else want to find anything? Yeah, all good. Um, good. Do I see the guy that we're looking for? No. Well, yeah. Do we get a do we get a description or a picture of what he looks like? Uh, they give you a general description. They say he looks fair haired. His eyes are a very deep blue, um, and he has as is the case with all who are descended from the uh, nobility of uh, Veilgard. He has slightly pointed ears. Wait, wait, sorry, you said he was kidnapped, right? Mm-hmm. Is his okay. name Will? No. Okay. Will Will is gone, is what my notes say. Okay. So, he's gone, too. All right. We could be looking for... Is Will here? I, I don't know who Will is now, so yeah, I don't know. All right. Um, his name is Veridin. I have that. I remember seeing the uh, thing. 
And I remember it because it was a uh, name on Yogg's cast on their thing. Okay. I don't, I don't know where that came from. Because uh, that's not where I got it from, but that's fine. Um, oh, I was just saying that. Sister. That's how I remembered it. John, I yes. go to the blacksmith. Mm -hmm. uh, I just look at him and I say, you got anything interesting? Uh, he says, well, what do you mean by interesting? I don't have magical things, if that's what you're asking. Uh, if I... If I knew something that interests me, I probably would need this coin. So, uh... <laughs> well, what you will see is you'll see farm implements are very plentiful. He does have some weapons, and they're re relatively well made. Um, but he's not going to have anything exotic, right? Like he's not going to have a falchion or some weird, you know, saber or something like that. He's going to have very common short swords, long swords, maybe a bastard sword, possibly. And then he's going to have like different kinds of spears and javelins and stuff like that. So depends on what you're looking for. Mm, I'll just ask him. Uh, so you guys see any action around here? Um, well, we did earlier. Um, thankfully, about a month ago, we had issues with uh, a group of the unwanted who came out of the forest. But uh, we drove them away. Oh, you drove them away? You guys get you guys capture any of them? Uh, they don't like to be captured. They like to kill people. So tendency is we just try and stop them. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, if you want to know more about that, you'd have to go up to Marrowweath's Maw and talk to some of the soldiers that hang around there. They'd have much more detail it, on it. Is that a bar or a pub or something? Yeah, it's an inn over by the military section of town. Is that one of three inns? Yes, it is. Mm. We have three in town. I see. Me personally, uh, I like the ale more at the uh, the the whispering the the creeping, creeping willow. willow creeping oh, willow. Uh, yeah. Uh, what well, does the uh, the the whatever mall does it accept all uh, patrons or only guards? I'm over the shoulder of the guy of the uh, the guy that bars talk to going like this. <laughs> if you got coin, you can get a drink. Thank you for your inf the information. Uh, he nods. Let me look through my let me look through my pouch. How much money do I have? Uh, I'm gonna give him. Hold up. I'm thinking in my he head. Uh, all right. This is where even the is a high amount. Okay. Odds is a low amount. So this is definitely not an astonishing even. move. Wow, nice. All right, cool. All right, I take out a gold knight. I thank you for the information. Wow. And then I give it to him. You see his eyes get really big when you hand him a gold piece. It's like, wow, for nothing? Oh, okay. Uh, that's nothing now, but maybe you'll remember me? Sure. If you uh, ever need anything fixed or repaired, I'll do it for free, depending on what it is. What was your name again? My name's uh, Marl. Marl. Cool. And then uh, I'm going to walk back to the group and then I'll kind of whisper to them. So that guy told me that uh, well, I'll basically relay what he told me and say do you want to go to the inn that the guards told us to or go to the um, the other one where we might be able to get information? We can do both. Alright. I'm splitting up or are we going one first and then the other? I don't care. I don't know I mean, if it's a good idea. I'm down for bar hopping. <laughs> I don't know if okay. it's a good idea to split up. Uh, All right. I'm being selfish saying that. All right. Evens, we're going to the soldier one first. Odd is the other one. Hey, I like this All guy. Right. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the. <laughs> All right. We're going creeping to the willow. creeping willow first. Okay. 
So you guys wander up the road and you head towards where the Creeping Willow is at. It's a, it's a building just beyond the church. Uh, you can see it. It's well decorated. Looks kind of inviting and friendly. You see sort of like families coming in and out of it even. Because it's still early in the day. You're not like coming at night or something. So it's still kind of a place where people have food and, and drink. And of course there are travelers who will sleep in the few rooms that they have. Uh, they don't have loads because, I mean, they don't have to. It's not that big, but they do have enough for you guys if you wanted to sleep there for the night. Uh, otherwise, as you come in, there is a uh, a man behind the counter at the pub. And there's another younger fellow that's standing kind of in an entryway just off to your right. The pub's off to the left. And then you can tell that the guy standing at the other end is basically he's... The younger guy is kind of the the host or the maitre d' or whatever you want to call him for the hotel itself, for the sleeping quarters. Okay. I'm going to look over at Dimitri. Hey, you like to talk a lot, don't you? Yeah, sometimes. I point to the bartender. I'm like, go talk to him. Okay. I'll go up to the bartender. Uh, is there a table somewhere uh, open at the bar? Uh, there's several like probably about 10 tables in this place and there's probably about half of them are full so it depends on how close you want to be to the bar uh i forget austin, uh, austin how nicely dressed are you i mean he's uh, not very I'm, I'm wearing like leathers and like i'm armored but not it's it's skin. I'll probably have some skin showing. Like you probably see my nipples at least. Uh, all right. How how do I how is pre dressed again? Is she clean, presentable? Light armor, travel clothes. That's what she wears everywhere. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping some, one of you guys would look nice. You guys could go to the major D, but. Well, I mean, they they I'll all. Look over at, if you look I'll around, look over you don't pre. see any rich snobs here. I'm just gonna put it that way. Oh, okay. I know, but money talks, but... It's true. All right, uh, I'm just going to go up to the maitre d' then. Okay. I don't, I'm going to go up to Dimitri. I'm like, I'm going to go eat in there. I'm going to go in there. Come back with what you find. Okay. Okay, so uh, what are you doing, Bart? You're going to the to the guy that's sort of the head of the wait, hotel or like, whatever? Is he like, oh, it's for the hotel. I thought he was like the host. To like. No, no, no. There's so, so to clarify, it's like when you go into a hotel lobby... There's a guy behind the desk at the lobby, and then there's like a, oh, a restaurant area, and that's kind of what this is. You're looking at both. There's like access to both sides, and the younger guy is the guy behind the desk in the lobby, and the barkeep is is in the pub area. Oh, okay. I I look at the the barkeep and I say, "Can I just pick an op empty table?" Yeah, go ahead. Whatever you want. Okay, I sit down and I wait. I wait for someone to take my order. I look over at Shin and I point to one of the seats and do the same for Pre on one of the other seats, unless she wants to go do her own thing. Like actually, I point at. I look over at Shin and I point to a, a uh, seat. Then I look over at Pre. I think for a second, I'm just like looking at her and she probably looks at me in my eyes. Then I'm just like, no, I'm good. And I'm just waiting for Shin to just sit down. Yeah, I'll sit down. Kind of keep my ears in my peripherals have i seen your ear ears uh i mean you would have seen them at the elf probably. place because or the elf at the prashina like lvr yeah but we we were in gentle by elves too so we wouldn't have necessarily known that fair it's true okay if you uh, I'm just gonna i, look I at usually him. try to keep them hidden i'll say that but how I think is, how is the weather right now when we were walking outside john uh, it's like kind of like a, a mid-spring kind of day. Like it's a little windy, but it's not cold. You know, you could probably get out with a a, a light c coat and you'd be just fine. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and okay. wait until someone has information or comes to ask me for an order. Okay. We will uh, sit down, but she'll like turn the chair backwards and sit down that way. And she'll put her back to the wall. So for those of you who can't see this, uh, Tamara has her face wrapped in a uh, lovely little thing. <laughs> uh, okay, so you guys... 
Okay, so let's let's do Dimitri first, as he's going more directly up to the uh, to the bartender, I assume. Yeah. Okay. That's so. Great. Hello, uh -huh. sir. I've been told that your ale is the best in town. That it is, that. sir. We make it right in this here basement below me. Impressive. It's now very. Have your own brewery right on staff, right in right on premises. Very much so. Local ale, of course, is the best. What are you looking uh, for? Something dark, something red, something yellow, something even paler? Hmm. Pale ale does sound good. Okay. He reaches under the bar, and you see him lift a big, like a small keg on top of the bar, and then he cracks it open and pours out this very light lager into a mug. The mug looks very clean, uh, and uh, he puts it on the counter for you. Says it'll be uh, two copper. Um, so I'll put the I'll put two copper on the table, and then I'll put a third one, and I'll slide them over and say, so what's the talk around town? Any interesting rumors? Uh, not much lately since we got rid of those orcs. We haven't had much in the way of problems since then. Um, uh, we had heard there were some problems up in the Vale. Well, the Vale. I mean, that's that's a whole other kingdom away. But those those orcs have gone east, so they haven't been as much of a problem around here. They're over by the mountains. Last I heard. Um. Would I know what else is to the east, John? Uh, so you'll know that the, the boundaries of, um, this kingdom, uh, go all the way to the borders of what's called the Dragon's Teeth, which is a series of mountains that runs north, south, uh, along the spine of the continent, basically kind of like the Rocky Mountains effectively. And, uh, they have a lot of forests that kind of run up against them, especially, uh, north. And very east of here, there's a forest which starts and it becomes what's called the Great Forest to the north, uh, which is at the borders of the um, kingdom. And uh, if you... Basically what he's saying is is that that's the direction they went, is that, that way. Gotcha. Um, now, was it the unwanted that kidnapped the guy we're looking for or was it somebody else? It was the unwanted, which it can include orcs and goblins and all sorts of fun stuff. Basically, usually humanoids like gnolls, goblins, troublemakers, basically. Reasonably assume that this might be the people that we're looking for. I mean, that's that's the effectively what you've learned from him is that I mean, he said more or less that they they took somebody with them uh yeah. and that okay. so all right uh so yeah that's basically what other information i was looking for i'll actually um i'll take out a silver and i'll give him that too and i'll say um this this is good uh and i point to the silver i'm like for the information and a round for the table and i'll point to our table and he nods and says very good very good i'll have some poured out for you momentarily and uh, he gets busy on that. While you're doing that, I assume you'll take the mugs over yourself. Or you're yep. going to let someone else. Okay, you're going to do that. All right. So, all right. Okay, so he pours out four mugs. And uh, while he's doing that, uh, Bart, a uh, young lady comes over. She's not like dressed sexily or anything, but she's dressed to kind of accent better features, I guess. I don't know how to describe this, really. Um, and uh, she says, hello, can I take your order? How large is your menu selection? Uh, Depending on the size, this might take a while. Oh, well, if you want, I can just recommend the specials. Food. Just bring food. Hot. 
if it's possible. No, I don't. I don't want the special. What else would you recommend? Uh, well, I mean, we have uh, the number of fish-oriented meals. Uh, fish tacos. No. Oh, hot. Don't no. Really, food. Food. no. No fish tacos. Hot food. Just hot food. She says one special. Okay, marks that down. The special is hot food. I'll put <laughs> some fish and some chips. Okay. What else? What else you got? Uh, well, we have uh, the uh, local uh, ribs are very good with uh, some potatoes. No, I'm, not, I'm not in the mood for ribs. What else you got? Uh, we have poultry. Thank you. All right, that sounds good. All right, chicken or turkey? Oh dear God! Uh, <laughs> uh, even to turkey. Uh, I'll take chicken. Okay. <laughs> she looks at you very strangely, then looks back at Shin and says, "What would you like?" Fish and chips. Right. I forgot. <laughs> My apologies. But if you could make it into one big chip, that's curled. And uh, put the fish inside it. That would be amazing. That sounds very weird. All right, sure. Make, make it happen. I, give I don't have to make it, so whatever you want, sir. Put some tomatoes, please, and cilantro, okay? Uh, <laughs> wow. Um, and meanwhile, Dimitri comes over with your drinks while all this is going on. Are you just going to look at these two like, I have to adventure with you, idiot? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I'm being paid. And you have the chance to eat good. You should eat good. It's uh, just fuel. It's what? just... That's a uh, very bland way of looking at life. I look, I look over at Dimitri and I say, uh... And... Uh, oh, the ale's very good, and I put the down cup in front of you. Do you want, do you want some... Free? Sir, sir, do you want some food? Oh, sure. What would you like? Uh, uh, do you have salad? Like yes. Maybe some bacon and chicken on it. Uh, okay. And she writes all that down and walks away quickly before somebody changes and their mind. Now we're rabbits. He's, he's eating he chicken, chicken, chicken and bacon. Yeah, I added chicken and bacon to it. What do you care? It's just fuel, right? Some rabbits eat chicken and bacon. Yeah, rabbits eat. Yeah, rabbits need protein. Do they? Ones that aren't really rabbits. Ah. Uh, I see. Uh, like, uh, I, I push, I push the, uh, the the ale away from me, and I just ask Dimitri, uh, "Did you learn anything?" Oh yeah, uh, the unwanted. They're heading east towards the the mountains. The mountains. Oh. He got a little far away from his mic. Sorry, I ran to grab a walk. Uh, so do we want to check out the other? Uh, Pub, or do we want to just head start heading east? I mean, always... I thought we were doing pub crawl, but whatever you guys want to do. <laughs> always good to talk to the guards. Okay, well, especially the drunk ones; they tend to spew. Ooh. Well, it's a little early still, so I guess we can go after we eat. Are we at the guards one now, or the other one? No, no, no you're at the other one. The creeping willow. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, I just oh, yeah, She's right. gonna yeah. sit there and drink her ale while eyeing these guys. Okay. I sit uh, the ale. Okay. Slowly. Um, so you drink it. It seems great. I mean, it's no better, no worse than anything else you might have had. It's certainly not worse than the worst places you've been to. Um, ale. Yep. Pretty much. And uh, the food is brought. Uh. The chef does what he can with yours, Shin. It basically looks like a fish stick in a uh, in a baked potato, uh, more or less. Lord. But there you go. That sounds pretty not, good. Yeah, it's not a fish taco, but it's pretty good. They're like, who want that kind of thing? You need to go down to the sea coast. <laughs> well, I thought we were on the ocean. <laughs> You are. You're just not anywhere near the the part where they eat tacos. Uh oh. And there is uh, a part where they eat tacos. Indeed, yeah, there is. South. Yep. And uh, I mean, if you really want to find out how your food tasted, it tasted like food. <laughs> to quote Pre, mm -hmm. you got fish soup, by the way, Pre. 
Mm. Um, it tastes all right. It's good middling meal. Nothing very, very sort of like a an a adequate filling meal, but nothing that you're going to like recommend this no. place. She just eats it by picking up the bowl and going... Uh, while we're eating, do mm -hmm. we overhear anybody mentioning... Uh, anybody with pointy ears or the name Viridian? So you'll see people occasionally coming in and out who have slightly pointed ears. Don't. They're they're not like in the majority. They're a small minority, but there are people who definitely look like they have Prashina ancestry at some point. Hmm. This place met, has a treaty with the Prashina, so maybe they let some of these people, some of them in. Uh, or they're just think... really old ancestors. Roll a history check, Shin. They got them pointy ears. They could be a couple hundred years old already, you know. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, a three isn't going to tell you a whole lot. Just say it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, as far as you know. This print could be so, right. Do, do we know the stuff on the sheet, like that you sent us? Uh, there might be a bit on this, actually. Yes, but your character doesn't well, know. No, I, I was saying I was going. I was going from the sheet. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yes, but your character has to go from a check. Yeah. Okay. I was just making yeah. sure. So we don't. We don't know everything. No. 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 Basically. No. No. Okay. That's that's player knowledge, not character mm -hmm. knowledge. Okay. Can I roll a history check? You absolutely can. See how much Pre decides to know. Oh god, history sucks for me. This is gonna suck. Well, yeah. a, a, nine, a nine ain't great. No, no, I'm afraid not. Nope. Anybody else want to give it a go? She just doesn't care right now. <laughs> no idea. Uh, nope. Wow, you guys are rolling brilliant. Bart? No, I'm pretty sure he doesn't care. Yeah, well, I kind of <laughs> figured, but thought I'd ask, you know, just in case. Okay. Actually, I'll roll, but, but like, I don't know if I will say anything. But let me see here. Where's okay. The character sheet? Uh, history check, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Damn, you guys are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> With a one plus, uh, he got a 16. Um, so what you know... And like I said, players would know, but characters don't, apparently, uh, is that uh, there are, while there's not like millions or anything, there are a lot more, there's a lot more half Prashina people in the West of this continent. And Failguard was well known for having probably at one point a third of their population. And Quinlan is basically uh, a it was their soldiers that settled here from Veilguard. So this area was settled by people from Veilguard. And so kind of here, Credion, which is the place where you guys were with Tanus, uh, all of those three kingdoms have a I'd say about 10% of their population have some links to the Prashina in some way, form or fashion to some percentage. So it isn't right. like a shock to see half elven people, but it's certainly not common and it's tolerated here. You got you yourself would know that back east it's not tolerated at all. Uh did Shin have like a look of surprise when he saw those people walk in? Uh yeah. Like my like I would just follow him and like look confused and wonder why nobody's saying anything to him. Do you not like those people? I'll ask shit. Uh, I don't care really one way or another about them, but I didn't think that they were allowed here. Why wouldn't there be 10% of the population or live here? Or are of their kind? Yeah, but from my understanding, a lot of the places the humanoid, the, that the humans occupy don't like the Prashina. Yeah, 
Yeah, some people. You might overestimate how much humans care about things. Uh, the 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 kingdom that I they they're one of the ones that allow Christina folk. The ones you said that we were. Yep. Yeah. In yeah. fact, uh, I, would, I would know that then, right? Since I've lived there. Yeah, I will say that Bart would also know from his history check that uh, there was a peace treaty between Credian and uh, the Prashina. That's the whole reason why they were able to settle there. And uh, that's largely why there is so many. Okay, Same. I continue to eat. Okay. Same kind of goes for Vagar. Yeah, Credian allows the Prashina too. Like half races and all that. It's just the, it's just the East Coast that's more kind of back. That's where I've been most of the time, so maybe I just have a skewed view. But I thought it was like this all over. It's nice to know that it's not. Yeah, I mean your experience in the North, where you were, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely <laughs> no. So you're right. It is not normal, but that is kind of the way it goes. Right. Cool. Anything else you guys eating? I mean, as far as I know. All right. Uh, if everyone is done, I'm gonna look over and like to the other place then. We're drinking. I pull up my fist. Start <laughs> walking out the door. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so I assume. Oh, everybody... oh, well, did we pay for the food? No. No, you paid yeah, for I'm the drinks. With you. I walk back. I walk back, and I asked the lady, "How much was this?" Uh, one silver each, please. Okay. Uh, one second. F uh, five, five. Sorry, lady. Uh, I give her the one silver each, and I give her ten copper each extra for the tip. She curtsies at you and says thank you love okay and i walk out and follow uh dimitri okay are you still uh, sitting at the table just <laughs> staring at this interchange like lord almighty i am traveling with these and she gets up nods at the uh serving girl and just blows them out she nods back and uh okay so you guys go off to uh Merlis Ma, it's called so that is back over towards the military area of town uh which is kind of between um it's it's basically on the other side of the palace or not the palace the other side of the armed um the fort i guess is the word i'm trying to say uh, kind of near where they have a, a, a training facility where they have like uh, practiced battles and things like that. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's okay. So it would be, this is the, for those of you wondering, that's the fort. Uh, and then this is the training facility there. And that keeps popping up that. So, yippee. All right. So, you guys, as you walk that way because the fort's really obvious you can see it fairly easily you walk past sort of the knobbier part of town they have a couple of statues up at the edge and it's kind of fancier places but not like gaudy it's but it's you can tell it's sort of better protected and a bit better treated uh and then you come to what looks to be a uh what looks to have basically been some old uh, barracks which has been repainted in brighter kind of blues and gold accents and uh, then in front of it on the banner is this picture of this lady holding a head looking like she's standing on a battlefield and she's dressed all in black and her hair is black and her eyes are blazing red and it says uh, Marilis Ma. That's uh, I will walk in. Okay. I'll follow. 
All right. So as yeah, that's his light, by the way. I shouldn't uh, be talking, but yeah. So Austin's light is kind of interesting glow. Um, so he um, enters into the uh, building and it is darker lit. You see this time of day, there's not many patrons. There's about, I'd say, two couple of old cantankerous sorts kind of deep into their third cup. Uh, and then the uh, kind of the proprietors behind the bar. And uh, he looks up and sees you and says, how may I help you? Uh, do I see any soldiers in here or like guards or anything in here, John? Uh, you see, so no, not at the moment. What you see is uh, veterans uh, uh, okay. would be the way I would call them. Basically, they're old guys reliving their past glories in the midst of a drunken haze. Okay, uh, I'm just going to go Free... to the... Oh. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go, no. go ahead, you first. Okay. Free's going to wander over to the veterans, put a, put a gold piece down on the table, say a round or how many that'll pay for. For these guys, and she'll sit at the table with them. Okay. Thank you, young lady. Appreciate it. Not a lot of respect we get around these parts these days. Oh, I'm my. Son. I'm androgynous, damn it! <laughs> Fine. Anyway, point still made. <laughs> anyway, yes. Well, she does that. Like... Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, she's just going to, like, got any stories for me? Uh, he regales you with a tale of some random battle that he said he fought in. You're not totally sure he's telling the truth. Uh, and how he slew a Veil Guardsman at some bridge in the middle of nowhere. And... Uh, kind of that kind of stuff like it's it's very much kind of almost the level of a tall tale you're ex I, I don't know how much so i don't know how experienced she you would be with veterans but you would know a lot of veterans don't really talk about their military experience unless they're really prodded or unless they're really drunk so you would assume he's either really drunk or lying so well that's why she's plying them with more booze right well i mean They've been drinking before you got there. Because occasionally details spill out. Mm, indeed. So. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. So he gives you a lot of details in regards to his heroics during that particular battle. Uh, and unless you want more specific details, that's kind of where you get to. It's just very kind of vague. and. Anything out of any of the others at the table? Well, there's only two people in the entire bar. Oh, okay. I thought you said there was a table of them. Okay. No, no, no. There, there's, there's two old grizzly veterans that are here sitting at ah. the bar, and then I see. most of the rest of the tables are basically empty, and uh, or all, all right. the rest, all the actual <laughs> tables are empty, and then there's the proprietor, and that's about it. So, I mean, you can she'll, sit she'll between the two of them. them for more recent tables, tables, more recent info. Stories. Okay. Uh, the one old timer and kind try of try and involve the other one. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. So, so the other old timer would have m more talk about his involvement with the uh, guard fighting off uh, the orc invasion from a few months ago, and the way he describes it is easy. He says that these, and it wasn't just orcs. He'll actually say the unwanted, and he'll say they came out of the Fey Woods. The blasted Prashina were supposed to keep them penned in, but somehow they got through and they attacked our town, but we fought them off thanks to the guard, which fought bravely, and they brought some of us old-timers that could hold a crossbow to man the walls and fire down at these beasties. And uh, right. that's kind of all he can talk about that, but yeah, he... Basically, that's his excitement. You kind of oh, get the impression from him that's as closest as he's ever got to actual fighting. Fair. Um, she'll put another gold piece down on the counter. Say, 
drink up boys and then she'll go find a table mm, the one raises a glass you're a fine soul mm. don't die too soon he says no problem. that's a goodbye don't die too soon <laughs> and he responds with no promises and then turns and starts drinking more <coughs> Bart and Dimitri. Uh, well, yeah, I, I'd go up to the bartender and I'd be like, so, uh, word around town is that the Creeping Willow has better ale than you do. And I take a silver and I put it on the bar. I'm like, I'd like you to prove them wrong. Give me your best ale. And he says, all right. And he lifts up a small keg. And <laughs> on... on no, they wouldn't say anything on them. And he op cap taps it open and pours out this absolute black liquid. And he sets it on the bar and says, this is our best. It's called Fire Ale. It comes from the uh, mountains. The I lean down the, to his cup and sniff it. It smells super strong, like hop fest <laughs> you, you... elegant shit and I say when in Rome bottoms up <laughs> oh, I guess you're right you don't want to okay and he pours one out for you puts it in front of you uh, I would like you both to roll constitution checks please oh boy this is also my third one by the way yeah <laughs> I, well, two... that's fair enough <laughs> Constitution. Those saves those two were kind of like Miller Light level. This is not. Ooh, yeah. Constitution save. Yes, please. All right. This seems appropriate. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Well, bad rules for both of you. All right. So with an eight and a five, um, this stuff is like so thick. It's like drinking molasses thick almost. It's not quite that bad, but I mean, you know what I mean. Like it's not. It's not pouring gently, and it is seedy i guess would be the way i could describe it but it yeah oh, as, as it as it hits the back of your throat and then starts to go down you get this gentle sort of warm Ugh. kind of fire feeling and then as it goes down your throat and goes towards your stomach your stomach just feels like it's lit up for about a good minute it just feels you it's almost like you can feel the entire length of it going into your body and then landing at the bottom of your stomach like a long thick mm -hmm. shaft uh, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna look at i'm gonna look at these two and look over at the bartender i'm like what do you got besides that uh we got some uh regular al if you want that yeah, I'll I'll have one of those. Okay. So he <laughs> as talking, I um, I say I have this like paid look at my face, and I say, Bart, buddy, could you flip your coin for me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> just just do it. <laughs> we had this conversation. I, there's I, no I, I don't flip unless there's a reason to flip. flip there's flip. a reason. He needs it. Yeah, please flip it. I'm gonna throw up. Uh, if I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a few steps back and then roll. I've never threw up before. Or, or I'm about to throw up. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna just, uh, I'll just nurse my drink, I guess. Okay, so Are he pours drunk? for you. He pours out like a red, um, a red, like a red ale, basically, and it's tolerable. It's nothing to write home about, but it's drinkable. That's fine. I'm I'm trying to drink it slowly until like I can see like the actual guards people come in. Okay. Uh, for the half half of mine, and I I, I slide it towards Bree. You want the rest of this? <laughs> She's just gonna look at you, like just just look at you, and push it away. <laughs> good choice. Good choice. Are we drunk, John? No, you're not drunk. It's just, right, yeah. it's just, it's just, you, you, you basically had what felt like liquid flame go down your throat. That's all. Um, Last time Rob was drunk on a podcast, he died. No spoilers. 
<laughs> yeah. I wouldn't recommend drinking another glass of it. I'm just going to say that. Because <laughs> uh, the next roll would be at a disadvantage and would definitely be quite hammered by the end of. Uh, he, so he looks at you guys and says, so it'll be, it's uh, two copper for the ale and then it's uh, a silver for the uh, dwarven ale. I put, that. I put down the two copper for the for my ale. He takes that. And oh, that's a six. And I'll give him a silver for a tip. Wow. Silver for the ale, copper for a tip. <laughs> Fair enough. Dimitri. Yeah, I, I I had already put the the silver down. On, oh, on okay. The oh right, I forgot. Yeah. So. He's very happy with that, and um, he nods to you all and says, enjoy. Would you like anything else, possibly? Do you have any ginger root? I mean, maybe. No, I'm good. Thank you. Just I'll just the tea. ale. I may need some tea. tea? <laughs> yes, we have tea. Tea, please. And I'll put another silver down. <laughs> he uh, says, okay. And uh, he goes and gets some tea, puts it down for you. Ginger, it's kind of a gingery tea, I guess. So he kind of gives that to Shin as well. Closest we got. Oh, what'd you make it with? Maybe that'll work. Uh, it's some root that we have and kind of grows south of here. It's kind of like uh, ginger. Can I have a little piece of that root? Sure. And he uh, goes to the back and comes back with what looks like, uh, kind of looks a little bit like um, uh, about the color of a, a eggplant, but hard. Thanks. I'll put down another copper. Okay, he takes that and uh, says two teas for copper. I go find a seat because I'm done with this. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I already gave him a silver again for this. Oh, season. okay. All right. Never mind then. So he takes that. Uh, he's a very forgetful proprietor, apparently. And uh, you guys, I assume, now go sit down with your various stomach settlers. Yeah. While we're waiting, I'll just try to. I'll peel the root and then start shaving the insides and see if it's like ginger. All right. So. For the sake of time, we will scroll ahead uh, after the break and we'll find out what they find out after that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can do that here and you can watch the latest video up here. And if you want to know more about what we do, be sure to check out distractionsmedia.com.